Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my favorite nude lip technique. So with just a few products, you can achieve lips that look like this. So it's gonna make your lips look poutier, the lines on your lips will look smoother, and also it's great to match with any eye look. So if you'd like to see that, just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm gonna zoom you in closer so you can see what I'm doing. So with my Morphe Sweet Tea Liner, you can use any brown lip liner you have. Brown lip liner is really important for this look. So you want to apply it on the outside perimeter of your lip. Really, really close to your natural lip line. Like so. And then you want to come in here on a corner of your lower lip and apply that as well. So you want to blend it out by doing this. So you want to make sure it's nice and even on both sides. You can actually smile and check how your lips look when you smile. I do this all the time because, you know, your lips actually change the way it looks when you smile. So sometimes my upper lip looks different when I, like, after I put the liner, I notice that, so you know, sometimes this part is a little higher, this part is a little lower, so I adjust accordingly. So once you're happy with the liner and it's blended nicely, I am gonna top it with a lip cushion tint. This is from Peripera. Any lip tint will work. You just want to make sure that you're intensifying the inner part of your lips. Because when the inner part of your lips look pinkier or um, darker than the rest of your lip, it actually adds to the pouty look. So if you have a deeper complexion, you can use a deeper color. Like a berry. So to marry the lip tint and the lip liner, I'm gonna use a lighter, kind of like a skin tone, my skin tone color, but a little warmer, just to overlap that over the lipstick, or the lip liner and the lip tint, like so. This is the KKW 1.5. What I do to blend things easier is I can, you can just use your finger and you can just like massage in between the lipstick and the liner, like so. Because you don't want the liner to show up too much. So you want to top this off with a gloss. I'm going to use the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade Supernatural. This is one of my favorite lip glosses. So what I like doing is I like putting this on the back of my hand. That way you get more product from the actual wand. And then grab it again. It just makes a difference. And then I just apply it. This is one of the most pillowy glosses that I know. It's so good. And then I want to put it right over here as well. Right where your cupid's bow is at definitely makes a difference. So 
So if you want to be extra, you can add a lighter gloss in the center. So this is optional. Because if you do have light, more light in the center, it also gives for a more powdier look. So I'm going to use the Morphe Icy Lips in the shade Boss Tycoon. Any champagne lip gloss will work. So I'm just going to tap it right here in the center. Just on the lower lip like so. So that it looks, you know, a little juicier. And then you can apply it right here just on the cupid. so that's the finished look for the lips let me show you guys so that you can see i did pair it with a glass skin and this fox eye look if you would like to see the complexion as well as the eye i'm gonna post them in a separate video so you guys can see them if you have any questions suggestions comment make sure you like the video comment below let me know what you think um thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of you and i'll see you guys on the next video bye